Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Apa's video. Cooking Apa. Hi, this is Cooking Apa. Uh, Chinese New Year is coming, uh, so I'm going to make a Chinese New Year dish, which is pork leg with sea cucumber. Yeah. So this is going to be a super collagen stew. Why is it super collagen? Because we have three very important collagen ingredients here. First of all, it's pork leg. I'm using the front leg. Why? Because I prefer something which is uh, leaner, less fatty. If you prefer more fattier, get the leg behind. Yeah. So this is this is one piece of um, front leg here, uh, 1.2 kg, and I already blanch. Never skip the blanching process. Very important. That will help you to remove the gaminess from the pork leg itself. Uh, after that, uh, later I'll show you very quickly how to blanch this. And then of course we need some sea cucumber here. Now there's many kinds of sea cucumber. I have bought some very expensive one, 1 kg, 500 ringgit. And this is actually the cheaper one. One bowl like this, still about 60 ringgit. Uh, but apparently this type is much more uh, thinner. Yeah, this is much more thinner. So you cannot cook this for too long, right? So if you cook this for too long, it may melt. So uh, you need to be very careful when you are dealing with sea cucumber. Then I have another very important collagen sauce here, which is the uh, pork tendon. Wow, this is, this is uh, not easy to find during normal days. Usually only Chinese New Year you can get it. Especially these are the fresh ones, yeah? So uh, this is about 1.2 kg. This is about, I, I don't know, probably about 100 gram maybe. This is probably somewhere around 50 to 100 gram as well. So these three are the main thing. Um, to give it more Chinese, Chinese New Year feel, I'm going to add in some licks. Yeah, this is licks. This is actually the Cameron licks, which is very thick, very nice, very sweet. Uh, and then let's take a look at the braised ingredient here. Uh, you will need fresh coriander roots. Yeah, this is galangal blue ginger. If you don't have, it's fine, no problem. At least you must have one piece of ginger here, about two centimeter. So uh, three pieces of shallot, two cloves of garlic. Later, I will blend everything up. Sometimes people will add in a little bit of uh, dried chili, depending up to you. Then we will need give it some uh, five spice flavor. This is black cardamom. This is cinnamon stick. This is bay leaf. And uh, I actually, this is actually the broken star anise. So I actually have about approximately two star anise inside here. This is one teaspoon of five spice powder. Two tablespoon of rock sugar. Half bowl of light soya sauce. And we will need some dark soya sauce as well, just to give it the color. And at least half cup of Saoxing wine, yeah? If you want to know any of the, uh, the, the seasoning that I use, I will put the information inside the description box, yeah? The, so that you know where to, where to get it. Okay, blending process is very simple, but it's very important. Do not skip it. So prepare one pot of cold water, put in a little few slices of ginger, uh, some uh, Chinese cooking wine, then put in the pork leg and uh, boil it. After it is boiling, let it boil for a minute or two, right? Uh, then wash away all the scums and wash the pork, pork leg thoroughly. That's all. Very simple. Right, so you are seeing all this uh, brown color form, which is also scums. Uh, by removing all these scums uh, from the pork, especially from the pork bone, uh, you will actually reduce at least 80 to 90% of the gaminess from the pork leg itself. Yeah. Also blanch the sea cucumber for about 10-20 seconds in hot water. We just want to quickly blend this. I uh, use a use a hand blender easier i will put um, the equipments in the description also many of you will be always ask apa which what is the equipment that apa is using hand blender is much easier
right? Doesn't have to be very fine, like this, it's all right. Okay, I'm going to start with sauteing the um, shallot ginger just now. These are the blender ingredients. You want to spend a, a couple of minutes to really bring out a nice fragrance of this herb here. If you find it too dry, you can put in a little, you can add more oil. Oh, super fragrant. So let's saute this for a couple of minutes before we continue. We'll come back shortly. So this is after about uh, three, four minutes sauteing. We can now uh, take it out. Set it aside, yeah? You don't really have to wash the wok right now. Give it a bit more oil. We're going to caramelize the sugar, the raw sugar. Keep on stirring until the raw sugar fully melted and become brownish in color. Then we will put in the pork leg. We'll come back shortly. Right, so use medium low heat to keep on stirring your raw sugar until it melted and becomes brownish in color like this. So this is actually called car car caramelizing the sugar. And this is not to actually get the sweetness, it's actually to get the color. Now is the time where you can actually put in the pork. So immediately you are going to see the caramelized uh, sugar will be coating over your pork leg. Give it some basic color on the surface. Yeah. I must say my uh, caramelizing process is not extremely successful because some of it already become. Uh, become like this so you can't coat your pork if it become like this so sometimes what they will do is they will add some hot water to further dilute the sugar then only they will put in the pork yeah that is more efficient but to me it's okay lah. <laughs> then now we will put in the just now the ginger shallot We can raise fire right now. Half cup of light soy sauce. The dried herbs, the five spice powder, saoxing wine, you can put more saoxing wine actually. Hot water, right? So the amount of water should be just nice to uh, make sure all your, your ingredients inside is nicely submerged. I will be moving this to a pot and continue using the pot. Oh, I almost forgot the dark soya sauce. No wonder I saw the color is not quite right. At least about two to three tablespoon or even more, up to you, but if you put too much, it can be a bit bitter. This is probably about 3 to 4 tablespoons. Right. It's 
So let's move this over to the pot. All right, it is now simmering. I'm going to give it a little bit of salt, not too much, yeah, because you still can adjust the saltiness toward the end. About half teaspoon to start with. I'm not adding any sugar already because just now we already have some caramelized sugar inside. So uh, next thing I'm going to do is now, uh, different ingredient will take different time to cook. Um, the pork leg itself, I will let it simmer for one hour, yeah, at least one hour. Then pork tendon, I will cook it, I will put it in about half an hour later. So I will cook it for about half an hour to 40 minutes. Sea cucumber, I will put in in the last 10 minutes because this sea cucumber doesn't seem very thick. So I will just only going to let it cool for about 5 to 10 minutes maximum. The uh, leeks, I will put in uh, last 2-3 minutes, right? So what we do now, is boiling, right? Close it with the lid, tune down to medium low heat, let it simmer all the way through. So the pork leg itself is one full hour. So this is after one hour simmering under medium low heat. Just now half an hour ago, I already added the pork tendon. You can see from here. Right, this is the pork tendon already. Uh, so this pot here is already one hour. Right. The pork skin is very, very springy, uh, spongy right now. Spongy or springy. <laughs> anyway, depending on the uh, the softness, yeah. If you want it really tender, you can let it cool for another at least half an hour or so, yeah. So, uh, but for me, it's good enough because actually this dish, if I leave it for until tomorrow, it will taste even better. The the flavor will sink in even further. Now I'm going to put in this. The, the leeks and also the sea cucumber so like I mentioned earlier I'm not going to keep cook the sea cucumber for a long time just probably about five minutes or so then I will actually take it out yeah so this is after another five six minutes simmering I think it's good enough the sea cucumber has already softened yeah i don't want to melt it now the thing about sea cucumber is this if you are very sure that your sea cucumber is the very thick one can last forever so you can actually cook it together with uh even with the pig uh, pig leg from uh, the beginning yeah but if you are sure the sea cucumber they're using is the cheaper ones like appa's ones <laughs> then you probably want to only cook it for a few minutes yeah if not you will definitely melt I, I have i have melted sea cucumber before accidentally all right so uh, what you do here is it's basically already uh, done what we need to do is just to give it some final seasoning with uh, salt and sugar let me have a taste mm, just nice just nice a bit savory i'll probably give it a little bit more light soy sauce done beautifully sweetened full of collagen um you can also add boiled egg and now the thing about sea cucumber here i need to talk about sea cucumber a bit more if you are keeping this for like me i'm making this in the morning and we are going to eat it tonight um i probably will even leave some for tomorrow so what i'm going to do later is i will be taking out the sea cucumber into another another bowl i won't leave it here because even if I off the fire right now, because I'm especially when I'm using a cast iron pot, it will continue slow cooking. <laughs> right? It has some reten uh, heat retention inside the wall. So that may also melt your sea cucumber. So right after this, I will actually remove the sea cucumber, put it in another plate. Keep it separately, yeah? Then only you combine it when you're about to eat it. Right? It's basically done. So we just also a little bit of uh white pepper done very flavorful super duper collagen stew right i hope you like my video today if you like my video do share my video out on your facebook to your friends 
come to Cooking Appa Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow Appa on Instagram and to subscribe to Cooking Appa YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Bye bye.